Welcome back, I'm Cosmo. Today is dev blog number two for Kern. Kern is the particle accelerator mod that is coming to KSP2, uh, not in the near future, uh, but sometime uh, later down the road, as there's a lot that I'm gonna need to do to make this mod fully functional in the game. I've been experimenting with animations to add basic animations for when you deploy the particle accelerator, what happens uh, kind of as you watch the particle accelerator do its science stuff. So this has just been kind of prototyping it. So yeah, there's been a lot of prototyping and quickly what I've done this week is work on models, animations, and texturing. So here is the electron gun. This is what fires the, the beam that shoots the particles. It's what shoots particles. In the front, you can see where the, I'm gonna call it a laser, it's not, a laser it's particles which are a wave and what it, anyways that's where the particles exit and fire into the accelerator uh, that's part of the vacuum system and everything else the blue tank the small blue tank uh, is kind of the feeder it's where everything from the fuel and the, the fuel is the liquid hydrogen and the electrical boxes at the back all of that combines together to create a beam magically and stuff then we've got a nice little warning sign that i like it's a caution uh, it's kind of funny it says don't look at the laser basically i found it amusing uh, and there's a few little simple designs i'm adding to the boxes on the side to give a little bit of flavor and texture to it without having to go overboard with it and again i've got a lower poly counts on a lot of this so this is still very early the reason you see a whole slew of colors is i'm learning how to texture bake multiple colors so it's been something i've been learning to do not sure how to look in the end or what parts will be paintable by the players and what parts won't be paintable by the players the base probably will be paintable uh, by the player we'll see that was the accelerator part it's simply the tube that the beam goes through and follows magnets to go in a circle or in a straight line this again working on the animations for the collector so right now i have three components it's the electron gun the accelerating waveguide which a waveguide it guides the beam so in a curve the little magnet o's you see there's that's what's guiding the beam in a circle in a circular accelerator in a linear accelerator it still guides the beam it just doesn't apply uh, there's not a magnetic force electromagnetic force being added to the particles to bend them and change their velocity. Uh, and that's the luxury of a linear accelerator is they don't have to use uh, magnets to bend their beam. They just go in a straight line. That being said, I took inspiration from Line Act 4, which is the linear accelerator at CERN, which is used to create the particles they shoot in the lovely LHC, the Large Hadron Collider. I'm calling this KHC, the Kerbal Hadron Collider. If you're wondering what KHC stands for. Uh, but for now, this is where I'm at with the concepts of how, kind of how I want the thing to come together based off looking at pictures of everything. And specifically these collectors, there's, you're only gonna need four of them for a circular. So for warning like, okay, this is a linear accelerator, but what happens with the bigger? Well, there's four points throughout a circle uh, at 0, 90, 180, 270 degrees, and you'll need four collectors to collect the appropriate science, and I really to maximize your gains on the science. So this is all built up together. The first thing you unlock in the particle physics tree is going to be, hey, we've unlocked you know, the particle physics. Now we can do simple beam tests and learn about particles and how things interact and whatnot. And later down the road, you'll get into a full-blown circular particle accelerator. But it all builds off each other. And so a lot of it's concept, as I haven't wrote any of the modules for how it works, I still need science mode. I was hoping 1.3 would bring science mode. Obviously it didn't bring science mode, but it did bring uh, quite a bit of stability to the game, uh, some new parts, and they changed the wobbliness to where now I think in 1.3, the game's just easier to play. Uh, so nothing on my end as a modder I really needed to 
to add to make this functional. Uh, that's why you see a lot of me focusing on just modeling animations and getting it into Unity and then into the game because I want to make sure that, hey, I've got this, you know, working right. So this is the prefab view of the parts. This is after I've built them and what they look like in prefab. So this doesn't have all the animations or particle effects happening. It's simply just the model with its texture. And I think it's just a nice view of it. The reason I did this is because in Unity, it was easier to do a prefab view and do a 360 for you to show you kind of what the model looks like in Unity before you see it in game. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here, why I'm doing that. Now, why I did the base the way I did it is I just, think it looks cool it's simple it's like this little wing v thing and it's got little bases on it typically when you see a lot of piping combined together they have their connectors and they're not the connectors there's a, a beam that's installed where they connect to help one bring them together and support them but also you know to hold the weight because tubes uh, and cylinders are as long as they are and there's a bunch of math that go to goes into determining what size thickness it needs to be, how deep the ground needs, the foundation needs to be, and a whole bunch of other stuff that goes into getting the cylinders into, into place. So what I did is I took the actual Atlas experiment, the magnets that's used on it, and I used that image, which as you can see here, this is the actual Atlas experiment at LHC. I took the magnets and added it to my my magnet and, and my collector and detector. Uh, the green you can see is inspired by LHC's Atlas experiment. So this is a real machine. It's ginormous. I think that's like four or five feet tall. Um, so obviously mine's not as massive as that, but you can see where I got the inspiration from on how to shape it. I didn't, originally I thought about using the green frame across the entire model, but I was like, nah, that's too many poly polygons. Like it's too much poly. So I had to simplify it. I mean, I had to simplify it even more for the uh, accelerating waveguides. Uh, so that doesn't use as many polys, we'll see. It's hard for me to tell because I'm, I've got a 4090, so the game runs fine for me. But if you've got like a 2000 series card, so here is where I built the assembly of everything. So this is me building all my addressables and packaging them up to then add them into my mod. So if you're curious how it works in Unity, you build the addressable. Obviously that's not as easy as what I'm talking about. It's not a, hey, you just gotta go into Unity and hit this button, not how that works. But once you have all everything that you need to do part modding, uh, you build it, you drop it into your, your folder, and ta-da, you've now made a part that gets added to the game. I'm not going to go in depth on how that works. There's a video by Luxtus, uh, who's been helping me learn how to do all this, uh, that I'll share in the description below. It explains everything you need to know about how to part mod. And here you can see the animations are working correctly. The colors and textures uh, look decent in the game. Uh, there's a weird thing we're trying to place some of this stuff it gets all wild i have to actually like place it and then place it again so there's a few things i need to work on uh, the modeling being off and not being you know lined up correctly that's an easy fix so i don't think this is like oh he's almost done with mod no i'm still working on some things the accelerating waveguide is pretty much done i just gotta fix the base on it and then apply the textures to it and that's that's done uh, what's left is getting this electron gun and the detector complete with the models and animations and particle effects. Get all that done and added into the game uh, and finish them up. And then I've got to create a lot of custom modules to, you know, one, have the parts show up in the the VAB correctly where there's a nice picture and description and all that. I've got to make a write a module for that. And then I've got to make custom modules for how this functions in the game. So when you right click on it, you know, it gives you an option to deploy or set beam and, you know, other certain things you can do as there isn't science mode yet. 
I don't really know what it's going to look like. All I can kind of base it off of is go, well, you've got antennas and solar panels. Solar panels get power and you've got engines. So those three things I could use some of the modules maybe to experiment to see how I want this to work. I do know it's going to require electricity and fuel. So it will have uh, to use those modules to work. It'll have fuel, it'll consume fuel, it'll have electricity, and it will consume electricity. But as far as all the practical things, I honestly don't know. I'm, I'm working on it uh, every day and look forward to growing this more. So if you've stayed watching at this point, which is a long time, and I appreciate you guys getting to this point in the video, I did make a Patreon. I gave a vote for everyone in the YouTube community that we're building uh, to say, hey, do you, do you want me to throw up a, a Patreon? And I made it simple. It's $3 a month. It'll be in the description below and here on screen, you can kind of see what it looks like. So if you want to support, uh, since I'm not monetized whatsoever on YouTube uh, and I don't, I'm moving away from Twitch because of everything that's happening with Twitch. If you'd like to support, uh, feel free to go to the Patreon, become a men member. Uh, it's $3 a month and the rest of the details are on the Patreon. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day. Give it a like, share, comment, and let me know what you're most excited for with 1.3 and kind of your theories on what could be the best science module to come to the game from the devs. Thanks and have a great day.